Hi, I'm Tagore Smith from Notional Pipe, and this is the third in a series of videos taking a quick look at some of the features of Contour Rig Tools, our spline-based rigging tool for Maya. One of the most difficult things to handle with conventional linear blend skinning is characters with thick limbs or torsos. This pirate, for instance, is shaped like a bowling ball. Deforming thick objects like this is an area where Contour excels. First, we'll draw a contour joint chain for the spline and set the radius to roughly match the mesh. Contour's deform field spreads the mesh to maintain clean curvature while we rotate or translate the joints of the spline, but keeps the shoulders steady. The joint radius of the top joint in the spline controls how soft the deformation will be around the shoulders. We can see this best if we add a bone CV. Note how, when we wiggle the bone CV, the mesh maintains its shape. To get better control over the spine, we'll add a contour aim handle and an orient. This will keep the bone CV suspended in the middle of the spine as we translate the shoulders. Note that we've just made something equivalent to a ribbon spine, including full deformation, in less than a minute. Contour has more than one method for calculating twist along a spline. For a torso, linear twist often gives the best results. Each joint and bone CV has a bulge attribute. This can give you some useful control for squash and stretch. Each contour bone outputs a stretch value. We can use that to drive the bulge attribute to get automatic squash and stretch. We'll use a simple script to set this up. It gets the stretch value from the bone and hooks it up to the bulge attributes of the joint and bone CV. Now we have simple but effective automatic squash and stretch, which can add a lot of life to a character's torso deformation. If we have to export to a game engine, we'll once again use the contour deform field constraint. Here, we've created a bunch of regular Maya joints on the surface of the mesh and weighted them to have a localized effect. The deform field constraint will drive the joints with contour's deform field, as if they were vertices. Since we have lots of joints, we'll constrain them all with a script. Now we have a version of the rig that approximates the contour deformer's behavior, but uses only linear blend weighting. In our next video, we'll take a look at using contour in concert with Maya's post based deformation to create corrective blend shapes. So like and subscribe to be notified when we have that up, and we'll see you next time.